Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Dalton at Dalton ASTFs, and today we'll be taking a look at another older figure. That's going to be the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Nest Goblo Alliance Deluxe Class Braun. Now Braun here is modeled, or yet yeah, modeled loosely after the Hummer HX that was in the Revenge of the Fallen movie. But he was a, he is a toy only character. And with them you got the little stickers that if you got the Soundwave and Bumblebee 2 pack you could put on the put those stickers on a little form and send those in to get the exclusive Ravage figure. Unfortunately I didn't do any of that. This was the only Nest figure I bought aside from I think Lockdown was yeah aside from Lockdown. But not a bad vehicle mode. I mean doesn't really look much like Hound or not Hound uh, Brawn. Uh, I do like the brown color, the, you know, this nice dark brown, some green here and there. You got the machine gun up the top here. Nice molded detail. You've got the three millimeter clips all over. Nice painted tail lights. Molded in. Fog lights here. You got the, you know, the headlights, the turn signals, even the extra lights up the top. Of course, you get your windows and your Nest Global Alliance logo. And a little radar. And you get a little bit of space here in the bed. So there's that. And as you've seen, it does roll pretty nice. Uh, transformation, he's a shelf warmer. So let's get on to that real quick. I just want to pop this panel out. Same on this side. Pop the... Come on. There we go. We don't want to take the whole side of the one problem I have is these ball joints are a little loose on mine. Alright, so you want to take those funnels, pull them out, take the front end here, swing it around, go on both ends, bring out the, what will be his lower leg, or shin, and actually want to move these panels up here, around, out of the way, I'll rotate them 180. Well, let's actually do that before trying to straighten out his leg. Panel, leg, about the feet and the heels. Feet, or foot and heel. And just fully straighten up his legs without popping off at the hip again. And you want to just leave that as it is. Come back here, bring this, separate everything back here, and bring back this panel. Same with this one, just for the time being. And straighten out what will be his arms, and then those panels will flatten down the rest of the way. And we'll just go from here, rotate the waist over. Again, those hips keep popping off. Let's rotate that section up there. Rotate around. And just take, flatten those out. Rotate the windows down. Further up against the wheels. Get the camera up so you can see this. Take the arm and bring it down. Same on both sides, or the other side, and I like to rotate these panels here on the shoulders all the way back. And then these back panels just fold up, you can take the gun, straighten it all the way out, and there you have Braun in robot mode. If I can give him the stand. And you just need to pop his head up. So there we have Braun. He does look a lot, I mean, as far as colors, a lot more like, you know, Braun rather than in vehicle mode. But you still get some more of that brown here and there. I do like how they got these vehicle parts. I mean, what did I do wrong here? 
look kind of like uh, the military like cargo pants. Just kind of works. Got some nice detail in there. Of course, it's the Mech Live gimmick. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. But it is there. And his head is you know, slightly based on the G1 toy as far as having a mouth plate. But that's as far as it goes. I mean, you get the silver head, you get green, and kind of this gold color. It's kind of a muted gold. But like I said, he's got a lot of panels. And I, it doesn't bother bother me too much. And you, got, of course, got your little mach shoulder machine gun. And these pistols, I do like how they're part of the transformation. And they look pretty good, too. Overall, pretty good figure, in my opinion. Uh, probably one of my favorites of the Revenge of the Fallen, you know, deluxe line. Mainly because it's a... Uh, something about non-movie characters just really works. Of course, the head is on a ball joint, shoulders, ball joint, along with the transformation joint. Get a little bit of bicep swivel. It's hard to with all these panels. Bends 180 degrees at the shoulder, and that's mostly due to the transformation. He's got wrist swivels, ball or waist swivel, ball jointed hips. As you can see, they kept popping off. Thigh swivel or hip swivel. Nothing at the knee other than you know bends, and then you get the secondary part of the leg. So you can get him into some pretty good poses. And then the feet work on that hinge for transformation. But you also get a few more painted details. You get a lot of red added here to the waist and to the abdomen section, or, you know, the torso. And you get some red and gold here on the forearms. And you get two black typographed Autobot symbols on each shoulder. I think out of all the figures that come out, like I said, this is probably one of my favorites of the deluxe line, other than the, you know, the fact that he's a shell former and he likes to get all loose in the legs. I mean, yeah, might have to fix it up with some Ford polish. But other than that, like I said, pretty good figure. If you're on the fence about the Revenge of the Fallen figures, if you don't like them, Go ahead and try this guy out. See what you guys think of him. If you haven't done so already, I like him. So, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can check out the gallery of this guy in my Facebook page down in the description below. Also, my Twitter and Instagram, again, down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time.